Okay, if we're looking at light, light sometimes behaves as a wave and at other times as a particle. Many physicists ignore this dichotomy and instead focus on theories and properties regarding particle physics. The general view is that a photon of light has energy but no mass. Their view is that a photon can convert this energy into mass and that mass can also be converted into a photon of light. This is generally thought of by physicists focusing on subatomic particles, lacking a real everyday life model to look at the subject in a practical way. When a photon of light strikes an electron orbiting an atom, it is captured and it raises the orbit of the electron up an energy level. This process is reversed when the electron emits a photon. The electron also has a tiny change in mass at the same time, of approximately equal to 1.8 times 10 to the minus 42 grams which is really, really small, but not zero. If you take the view of most particle physicists, this is subscribed to the increase in potential energy of the electron after it has captured the photon. However, instead of using models of subatomic particles to describe the actions of the photon, you can use a totally different model of what happens to get a new approach to the photon. If we substitute the nucleus of the atom for the sun, the orbiting atom, say uh, the electron, uh, say Neptune, make the photon a comet or a meteor moving with extremely high velocity, then the need to have a massless photon disappears. Instead, we can replace it with an extremely light, at least in comparison to the mass of an electron, rapidly spinning subatomic particle. In this model, when the photon is either caught in the orbit of Neptune or collides with it, Neptune gains mass and energy. The new combined mass will now orbit at a greater distance from the Sun. Having the photon as a light spinning particle, which removes some of the observed issues with massless waves such as diffraction. However, it does pose some other questions relating to accepted theories in physics. Most uh, significant of these is that using the most famous equation of all, something which has mass can't reach the speed of light. However, if the equation is slightly amended by adding in the mass of a photon, it does give any significant change in the observable universe at low velocities. However, it does mean that anything with mass of less than 1.8 times 10 to the minus 42 grams has the potential only the potential to exceed the speed of light. Recent experiments show indications that this may possibly be the case. But what do you think?